Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take a copy of the first data set and then just click and drag that down. Then I will leave a blank row here and then make a copy of the second data set. And I'll click and drag this down as well. Then I'll go to insert and insert a scatter chart. And then right click and select data and add in a new series. The X values will be all of the dates and the Y values will be all of the numbers. and OK. And now we have our two data sets plotted on a chart. I'm going to do some quick formatting. Then we need to remove this gap in the middle. And in order to do that, I'm going to subtract a number from the dates in the second data set in order to shift the whole of the second data set to the left. So I will subtract 300 from this. And that looks like it's too big of a number. So I'll subtract 250 instead. And that looks better, so I'll double click to send that down. And now we've removed the gap in the middle. Now I'll make some adjustments to the x axis. So I want to remove the gaps at either end. So I'll change the minimum to the 25th of February and change the maximum to the 15th of September. And I think I'd like a bigger gap than that, so I'll just increase this slightly. Then change the major units to 25. And then I'll change the number formatting on this to remove the year. And then I'll adjust the major units again. What I want is to have a tick mark that comes just after the first data set. And you also have a tick mark that comes just before the second data set. So I have a gap in the middle. So I'll change this to 23 and that looks better. I would also like to have an axis label at the end as well. So I'll just slightly increase the maximum. Then of course, at the moment, the first set of dates are correct, but the second set of dates are wrong. So in order to fix this, I'm going to add in another series of data and then make that into a fake axis. So we'll start with the 25th of February and I'll just copy the formatting for that. And then we need to add 23 to this to get the next one. And I'll drag this down until we get to the end. Then for the first few dates, I can just copy them because they'll be the same date. But then for the second half, I need to change these dates back to what they actually are, which means I need to do the reverse of whatever I did over here. So here I subtracted 250. So for these dates, I need to take them and add 250. And then I get what the dates are actually for the second data set. Then because I want my axes to go along the bottom, I need to put in whatever the number is for the Y axis minimum. So that's 395 in my case. And I'll just double click to send that down. Now I can select the chart and right click and select data and then add in a new series. The X values will be the first set of dates and then the Y values will be the 395s. And OK and OK again. Then I'll select the orange line 
and I will add in data labels. Then select the data labels and tick the box for value from cells. And then select the second set of dates and OK. Then we'll remove the Y value. And I want to change the formatting on this. So I'll select these dates and press Control 1 to open up the formatting box and then delete the year and OK. Then select the data labels again and change the label position to below the line. Then select the orange line and change it to no line and also go to marker and marker options and change it to none. Then I'll select the Y axis and the Y axis minimum changed when I added in the new data set. So I need to change this minimum back to 395. Now the data labels and the axes labels don't quite line up. To get them to line up, I just need to move the data labels up slightly. Okay, and now I can select the real axes and we'll go to text options and change the text fill to no fill. And now we can't see the real axes anymore. All we can see is our fake axes, which actually has the correct dates on it. Now I want to actually split this axis, both at the top and the bottom. And to do that, I'll add in another fake data set. So I need a data point right in the middle of these values. So I'll take the 28th of May and add 12 to it, and that should be close enough. Then I need two copies of this date, and then I need to put in the Y axis minimum and maximum. So this is gonna be 395 again for the minimum, and then for the maximum, it's 455 in my case, because I want data points at the very top and bottom. Then we'll select the chart again and right click and select data and then add in a new series. This time the X values will be these dates and the Y values will be these numbers. And OK and OK again. Now it suggested the Y axis maximum, so I will change that back to 455. Then I'll select the green line and we'll change it to no line. Then I need to change the green markers. So to do that, I will go to insert and illustrations and shapes, and then select the slanted rectangle and click and drag to draw this. Then go back to shapes and select the line. And then I will click and drag to draw a line over the edge of this. Then I'll change this to black and also make it thinner. And then press Control D to duplicate it and line it up with the other side of the shape. Then I can select the shape and change it to no line and change the fill to white. Then I'll hold down control in order to select both of the lines and the shape at once and go to group and group them all together. And now I can adjust the size of this all at once. So I'll make it much smaller and then while I have it selected, I'll press Control C to copy and then select the green markers and Control V to paste. Now I think I want to make this even smaller, so I'll select each of the lines and make them thinner. And I'll make this whole thing thinner and smaller again and rotate it a bit and then Control c to copy and Control v to paste. And I like how that looks better. Now the final step is to add in axes labels at the bottom. So I'll give myself a bit more space down here. 
And then while I have the chart selected, go to insert and insert a text box. And then I will click and drag to draw a text box underneath the first set of data. And we'll put 2022 in here. And then change this so the text is in the middle of the text box and make it bold. Then I will hold down control and click and drag to make a copy of this. And I'll also hold down shift so I don't accidentally move the text box up or down so that it lines up with the first one. And then all I need to do is change this to 2023. And because I had the chart selected before I made the text boxes, the text boxes are inside the chart. So I can move this around and the text boxes will move with the chart. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a chart with a split axis in Excel, and that is everything.